made for uh, waste vegetable oil. Do you have a uh, Do you yeah, have a spit same. valve in yours? Uh, we'll look at there? it. I think it's the same. I think it's the same. Same kind of setup because that's pretty important I too. I bought another filter because I know I'm going to put vegetable oil in my front tank today. Right, yeah, right. I didn't want to stop on the highway. Oh yeah, I got you. I've had it stop before. You know, <laughs> been there. Yeah. Everybody, all all veggie guys have had that yeah. had those kind of problems. But this, uh, because it was already a two tank setup, all we had to do was heat the stock tank change out the fuel lines, and that's it. That's all we had to do to this vehicle to get it running on veggie. It already had a valve. And it the pump strong enough to pump it? Oh, uh, absolutely. This pump. is a mechanical pump. This right. is an electrical pump. Right. So we didn't put a we didn't so put it in the seat. Right over here on the side, right? Yeah, it, yeah right here. The mechanical yeah, it's, vacuum it's, in your mechanical pump the is right there. Yeah. Runs off the cam. Yeah, I've, I've seen it. I've rebuilt one. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, oh, it's plenty strong. But yeah. and the difference is, though, I'm heating my oil. Yeah. You know, so it is very, it is very hot and very, uh, very viscous before it ever hits the rail. So that's why it, you know, you don't need an extra pump on these. Okay. These already have a switch. They already had a valve. They already had two tanks. It had everything you needed. So. Silly question. What's the minimum temperature you want to put the oil into the engine? The oil should be 140 degrees before it hits the fuel rail. At a rail. minimum. Abs absolutely. Now let me tell you, there's a, there's 25 schools of thought on that. Uh, you're going to hear from, oh, you can do it when it's, when it's, you know, just as long as you can pour it, it can put it on the rail. No. No. Uh, I've heard 85. I've heard 95. I'm telling you, if you want your vehicle to last, you want this to be headache-free uh, so your wife doesn't get mad at you because you're stuck <laughs> on the highway, 140 degrees. And if you want to be extra sure, don't switch from diesel to veggie until you hit 140 degrees. That's the safest way to do it. So, and that, that really is, that's the... That's the straight skinny on these, but these IDICs these are great. These are my favorite. Uh, besides the Power Strokes, these are the, the best engines because they just they sound good and they run forever. And yeah. like I said, I beat this one to death. This yeah. is not the original paint. It was actually a white truck when I oh, when okay. I got it a hundred years ago. It was yeah. a fleet truck. Wow. You know, my system when it's hot on my Cummins on my Dodge, I have an inline heat exchanger that I made over there. It's yeah. about ten feet long of copper tubing inside and a and a yeah, rubber hose. Yeah, tube and hose. It heats it up to 175, but then it also cools it off from there on until it gets to the engine. Right. End result, I end up clogging my filters. So. Yeah, and that's the thing is, you heat the oil, the more heat exchangers you have, your final heat exchanger is your engine compartment. Yeah. The fact that it's warm under your engine yeah. compartment is your final heat exchanger. But I recommend at minimum two heat exchangers. Um, a heated tank, always, always, always. A heated okay. filter, always, always, always. And then if you need, uh, if you're in extreme cold weather, and we have a little snow today, but North Carolina is known for extreme cold weather, uh, a third plate heat exchanger is also an option. A uh, hundred bucks, again, you can get those off eBay or anywhere. A little plate exchanger, which is a coolant heated exchanger that you put in right before it hits the fuel rail. On these common rail diesels, it's not that big a deal. On some of the injection diesels, it can, be, it can really make or break the performance of your veggie system. But uh, I, am, I am proud to have 2.4 million miles on veggie personally, and then I have uh, a fleet with uh, more than 10 million miles of veggie. So I've got 70 sprinters out there that I converted that are running right now delivering home medical supplies, and, and uh, we're real proud of it. So.